What are some um, what's, what's some advice that you can give on what that process looks like mm-hmm. on from starting a conversation to having the initial question that you just said? And then how does that conversation go? In other words, are you are you teaching about a particular project? Are you are you teaching about private money? You know, initially, is it done in the form of a group? Uh, do you do it one on one over the phone? Just what? Take us through the process step by step from an addition, uh, an initial question, to actually having a private lender or investor. Sure. No, it's a approach that I've taken for many years. Jay is. Real estate, of course, has tremendous tax benefits attached to it. And as we all know, most people are always looking for a way to reduce their taxes. So I'll naturally just bring up a conversation with somebody that maybe I'm interested to, or perhaps I know, and just say, you know, out of curiosity, would you have an interest in looking at an opportunity that would provide you with some consistent monthly income, some upside appreciation, but most importantly, would help you dramatically reduce your taxes. And usually most people to that question would say, yeah, I mean, what are you talking about? And what I like to do immediately is disarm people. I want to let them know right from the get go that I right now don't have an opportunity to discuss or talk to. And the reason that this is so very important is most people, unless they're friends and family, will not invest with you until you build trust and you build a relationship. Those are two very critical things. And so people are always so desperate to talk about the investment or to pitch the deal, when in reality, that's actually the improper and the wrong thing to do. You want to step back and get to know the person and really ask probing questions because they will tell you what the temptation is for them that will allow you then to position that opportunity at some point in the future. So I simply just ask them questions like, Jay, you know, when you invest, are you looking for growth? Are you looking for income? Are you looking for a combination of the two? You know, are you using this money to do something special, like put your children to school or maybe to invest and buy a a second property? And as I'm probing, I'm building trust and I'm building a relationship. And after I talk to the person two or three times, I usually ask a very important question. And what this question does for me is it validates that trust has been established, but it also opens the door to now a discussion about a potential investment opportunity. And it's something like this. Jay, I've really enjoyed getting to know you over the last couple of conversations. But like I've said, Right now, I just don't have an investment that I can discuss with you. And the reason is I always like to give my existing investors the right of first refusal on most of my new programs. But what I'd love to do is just add your name to a list. And in the event I have a small allocation or small opening at some point in the future, do I have your permission to get back in touch with you? And when they say yes, they have now validated that they trust me and that they want me to call them back with a potential investment opportunity. That's beautiful, Brad. Uh, You do it and I do it exactly the same way as far as the process. Mm 